Hello and welcome guys. We're gonna be playing episode 3. So I'm just making my way over to the helicopter pilot and we'll fly to Kearney Island. I'll see you there. Wow, this is amazing. We're in New York, Coney Island. All right, there's a local safe house up ahead. You should find an entrance under the boardwalk. That will be your base for this operation. So episode three is the prologue, as I explained in my story videos, to the expansion warlords of New York. And we just saw in this intro cinematic Elijah Sumner and a new Black Tusk member called Dolores that were guarding Fidelity Chernenko, possibly infected. Safe area detected. It's a bowling alley. Nice. Ski ball. Portable device detected. Are you finished? Yes. Great. So, we need to talk about your next project. Please, Mr. Keener. The results of the latest experiments are violent enough. Please don't make me create something like that again. Oh, no, Vitaly. You misunderstand me. Are you going to kill me? <laughs> Vitaly, of course not. I'm letting you go. You are? I found a group that will keep you safe. And you've really done exceptional work, and people are starting to take notice. Who are these people? Uh, Black Tusk. Uh, you like them. They're a very elite group and professional. They'll keep you busy. <laughs> that's, a new, that's a really funny dialogue. Keener always really seems on top of things, you know? Hey, this stunt, right? So, here's the first main mission. <laughs> Black Tusk, real professional. <laughs> Love it. And now we'll start. Okay, Agent. The Black Tusk are keeping Chernenko contained inside a chamber by the ballpark. This looks There's amazing. There's no way you'll get in undetected. But I'll guide you. Also radio intercepted. Summer, sir. So it's Elijah Sumner that is in charge of this operation. Not necessarily Barton Shape. Dolores Jones. I'm on top of it. Thanks. Who the fuck is Dolores Jones? We haven't seen her before. Plus gives me extra damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
backpack. No idea what that does. But I'm really excited to get back into uh, into the game. With the new expansion and, and the new RPG systems and endgame. It looks pretty good, man. Roller coaster. Well, let's go. I hope these guys aren't rushing too hard because I do want to explore for all the How's my perimeter? bits. We secure. Working on it, sir. Don't work on it. Get it done. Yeah, get it done. Boys, ah, oh, this feels and looks amazing. It feels like the, the graphics have been improved. Just disrupted. Oh, it's a big boy! Explosion. So I also haven't leveled any of the other specializations besides the basic three and I don't even think I've done them completely. So we should penetrate the black trusk. So yeah, gear 2.0 really looks to be great as we just get to store every bit of talents and and other type of stats in our crafting bench and then just use it on the gear we like so you can essentially have god rolls which is gonna be amazing nothing behind here enemy approaching the coaster from the murals use the mortars sir but what about our troops i suggest they cross their fingers and continue to do their job Ooh. yes sir copy that elijah sumner being a dick Love it. Mortars are coming from a mobile unit near the shoreline south of your position. In order to reach Chernenko in one piece, you'll need to control that launcher. This is pretty amazing. Electronic ah, device detected. There we go. The latest version is almost and the time from exposure to termination has been cut in half. Average time of death after exposure on the last batch was 5 minutes and 20 minutes. And I have to dodge. Let's see how far we can leave this. Not far enough. Oh, we're another roller coaster. Don't worry if you can't hear or see the collectibles because I'm gonna make a video on that uh, after these. After I've done the gameplay videos. Didn't want to throw that. In story mode, it's so easy. You don't even need it, actually. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Load up to hell. Fire everything we got. Yes, sir. It's awesome to see the continuation of the story with the Black Tusk and now with Aaron Keener. I am wondering how the Black Tusk will tie into Warlocks of New York. Because we still haven't found out who the shadowy organization is. 
but there are hostiles near the boardwalk. You'll need to take them out before you can disable the launcher. So yeah, targeting system. Detected. Still have to find out the. If Isaac can patch oh. me into the firing system, I should be able to control the mortars from here. Connecting I love to the targeting wedding. system. So far, so good. Sir, the enemy is attempting to take control of the launcher. Kill them. Oh, I'm excited to see the cleaners again. Whatever happens, agent, make sure Isaac completes the process. Survive uh, for seconds. That's doable. Targeting system commandeered. You did it. Nice. I've got control of the mortars. Head toward the big tower across the beach. They're not that far from the ballpark. There are hostiles at the head. Agent, I'm gonna try and clear the road for you. My feet are up. Oh, what's that? I think that's the. The gas seeker mine, whatever it's called. It's Wanda. But yeah, I don't think we'll defeat the Black Tusk just yet because we still have Bard and Shaver besides Elijah Sumner. And we haven't captured the precedent. I forgot what the guy was called. It's been too long. So yeah, and in episode, no, in the Warlords of New York campaign, there will be Black Tusk with LMB, so the Black Tusk aren't gone, which makes sense because they're a huge organization that goes trans, trans America, so it goes all across America. It looked like they changed Elijah Sumner's model because he used to be a heavy tank. Our tank. But in the intro bit, he looked a little bit. Oh, didn't mean to drop that. Yeah, he looked. It looked a little bit different, like a normal guy, but buff with more armor. I'm blind. How do you guys like my outfit? I bought the... The raincoat? I guess it's nice to have a raincoat. I solely got, bought it because of the hoodie. There's a gate ahead. Obviously. If you go through it and up the ramp, you can access the ballpark from the bleachers. Ah, there's another... I'm sorry, Mr. Kinnev. I don't know what happened. It's okay. We can try again. I don't have any more of the viral samples. They were destroyed in the experiment. That's for Sumner! I'm hearing a lot of fucking ruckus. Are you in control of this shit or not? Whenever you feel like sharing your concerns with me, don't. If you lose Chenenko, back off and let me do my job. Fucking DC amateur bullshit! I should've fucking known. <laughs> Tina, I'm on this Chenenko fuck. End of story. Oh, so Dolores Jones, she's the, I don't know, one of the BTSU members from New York. Well, Elijah Sumner and the rest of BTSU from Washington, D.C. He's from Washington, D.C. So that's pretty awesome. Maybe there's more BTSU, maybe there's a lot of them. And she's on Keener, apparently. He's not infected, is he? Why would he be infected? You play in the dirt, you tend to get dirty. A virologist without a proper lab? I expect him to have a virus. He's clean. But if you're worried about it, just put him in quarantine. <sighs> you really ain't making it easier to trust you. <laughs> I'm sure you've got resources at your disposal. Stick him in a box and have your medics give him a once over. We'll see. He's as healthy as anyone can be in this situation. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Ooh, Keener's a badass. I mean, the way he just talks to them really seems like he's in control. I see you at the ballpark, agent. Which is kind of weird. Is right there the oh, there's Chinen. The I 
I wonder where Barton Shaver and the rest are. Like Jack Bunny we still have. Do we have to get behind him or what? I forgot how it works. I think that was for the turret, so we should be able to take him out. Ooh, we're gonna fight Elijah Sunday. And this is only the first main mission. We'll probably fight Dolores Jones then in the second one. Uh, uh, where where should I shoot exactly? Ah, here. There we go. Where is his team? Hey. Still haven't completed the raid though. <laughs> Oh, and what looked inter interesting is I think the hunters will appear in the second raid, Foundry. Sumner. Sumner. It's secure. Did we actually kill Sumner, Sumner. already? I, can't fucking believe this shit. I missed him. <laughs> Fuck. Ha, you did it. I've got an extraction chopper inbound. Just need you to get Trenenko out of that chamber. It feels way too easy. Just stroll through it and I know it's not an any hard difficulty or whatever. Thank you. I... I don't feel deserve enough your help. What I've done, I... What Kinner made me do... Don't Thank shoot you. me. Explosions? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we need to get Chernenko on that extraction chopper now. How weird is it that we hear explosions? They have mortars. Chernenko secured. Hostile radio intercepted. This is it. Move in and incinerate the Black Tusk. He played us. He's working with the cleaners. Ma'am, Keener's close. His radio signal is coming from inside the park. Everyone, with me. Let's kill this motherfucker. Holy shit, this is badass. So we knew Keener was already working with the cleaners with his lieutenants. Two of them. I forgot their names. Uh, it's the woman and uh, the Asian dude. <laughs> but he's actually betraying the Black Tusk. He's attacking them using the cleaners. I mean, the cleaners must be pretty badass to feel like they can take on an organization like the Black Tusk. I'm interested to see that. Awesome. Okay, that's it for the first mission and I'll see you guys back for the second one. And then I'll make a lore video on all the collectibles we can find here. Sound good? An agent has left your group. Sounds good. Talk to you guys later.